cranial nerves rock. There's one, we're going to sort our cranial nerves now into piles of nerves based on what kind of fibers they are containing or what kind of information can pass through them. And I have a little mnemonic to help you remember this. We'll see if my mnemonic works. I don't think I, I was going to color code it for you, but I just don't think I can. Here's my mnemonic. Some say marry money, but my brother says big brains matter more. You can see that I actually listed all of my cranial nerves before we had this conversation. And I did that just to save us a little bit of time, but you can hardly see hypoglossal because it barely fits on there. What does that mean? S. All of my S's are sensory. There they are. These are the ones, and in fact, here's, here's, this is interesting because do you notice that cranial nerve 5 is a both, it carries both sensory and mm, motor fibers, but check this out. Trigeminal cranial nerve 5 actually has three parts. Tri, geminal, three brother, brother bodies. That's what it means. This is our anatomy sign for trigeminal. If you're cool, you'll flash the anatomy sign. If you're not cool, we're sorry you're not cool. You'll notice that it carries both sensory and motor, but I've got news for you. It actually carries, um, our branches are divided. What? Did you follow what I just said? Nobody follows what I said. The two, uh, V1 and V2, the ophthalmic branch of trigeminal and the maxillary branch of trigeminal, both carry sensory fibers. And the mandibular branch of trigeminal carries motor fibers. So the whole nerve carries both. Did you follow that? Of course you did. Um, I was making my sensories blue. So I actually have more sensories to talk about than just, because we're going to talk about these guys separately. My motors. These guys all carry just motor fibers. Now what we'll see is that we can actually carry different flavors of motor. That's cool. But motor fibers are found in those structures. And then we have a few rock stars that carry both sensory and motor fibers, and we'll talk about those too. So we're going to start out just looking at our ones that we circled with blue. These are our sensory fibers. And you know what? I'm just going to do it right her because it's really, really, really straightforward. Ready? These are our guys that only do sensory information. Olfactory, what's it do? Smell. Optic, what's it do? Sight. Sight information, light comes into your eyeball, travels through the optic nerve to your occipital lobe, right, through the thalamus. I mean, we're going to map out all of our different possible pathways that we can go in our brain so that we can see all these, combine all the information that we're doing, which is really exciting. This is just a path for the sensory information to get in. Um, who else is just sensory? Vestibulocochlear, who's that? Hearing, oh, hearing and something else. Hearing and balance. And these guys, my sensory uh, branches of trigeminal, remember my anatomy gang sign? This is actually the ophthalmic branch of trigeminal, is doing sensory to your skin. It's almost like it's dermatome man. This branch of the trigeminal nerve does sensory to your forehead skin. Do I need to write that down for you? Sensory to skin on your forehead for ophthalmic branch. Where is it for the maxillary branch? You got it, dog pounds. It's on the, like, maxilla. It's the middle one. 
this is my maxillary branch. I can feel my finger tapping my face because of my maxillary branch. Mandibular actually contains sensory fibers also, so this would be a bother. It's not really just a motor er, er, because it's doing sensory fibers down here as well, sensory information. Sensory to my skin from the chin area. Now, if you would like to go look at the picture of how it's actually, like, broken down on your face and memorize that, more power to you. That's awesome. This is good enough for me. Don't poke your eye out when you do that, because I think I almost did. The next one, we're going to look at everybody who has only motor fibers running through it, which does not include V3, because that actually contains both. I'll be right back.